Hello, I'm Marshall Vladimir and this is Operation Overlook. So I'm just going to open up with a bit of housekeeping. Um, in Crooked League's attack on Kui Chao, he rolled for his infantry, which and at, which, which he had at a 2, and rolled a 2, and he said that was a hit. His infantry was only at a 1 because it's a mountain territory. So I'm just going to roll for his aircraft to see if everything goes up, turns out. He got a 1, so the battle proceeds as normal in his video. Um, sorry about that. I lost a unit over here. I haven't updated the map for the rest of his turn. So I'll do that after my turn. Yeah, I just wanted to get this video out as quickly as I could. Um, okay, so we're going to start with my purchases. No, my tech rolls, sorry. I have, I, the United Kingdom is for only two tech rolls, again, one for radar and one for aircraft. It's, despite the fact that the war started, it's still not July 1939, so we can't move to the next stage of tech. So there, again, another 7 and a 7. Been quite good with the tech rolls this game. So, yeah, that's cool. Cool, cool. Um, now, I'm going to move to my purchases. Um, as the United Kingdom, I'm going to be lend leasing a fighter to free France, who, by the way, their capital has been declared to be Northern Algeria, for 10. I'm going to buy an, two infantry and an AA, also for 10, and then a militia for 2. So that'll cost all my 22. I lost 2 IPP to convoy rating last turn. Anzac is going to upgrade a medium factory to a major factory, so that'll cost them 6. And FEC is going to build two infantry and a militia, so that'll cost them 8. So without a further ado, let's get into my turn. So... I do have combat movements, several combat movements. I'm going to start down here with this British fleet. They're going to move up one, fight. It's a tactical bomber, a light carrier, a destroyer, and a light cruiser. One, two, three, four into C zone 108 from C zone 116. And they're going to be attacking the submarine. So I believe I'm allowed to attack it with the tactical bomber and the destroyer. I'm not sure if I can bring it in the other units, so I'm not going to roll for that. But please tell me in the comments if I can bring more units. And another attack against the submarine. I'm going to send this light, this fighter with a heavy cruiser and a destroyer up. One, two. Actually, I'll bring up the battle cruiser as well. And so they're going to be attacking this submarine. And I'm going to be sending my strategic bomber from the from London. One space to bombard, to, to carpet bomb the Germans in, army in Paris. So I had reached out to the veteran, and he said that he's going to be selecting his infantry as casualties if I get any hits. I believe that's it for my combat movements. So, yeah, let's get into rolling. Okay, so let's start with attacking this submarine down here. So I have one attack at four, and one at the set at seven with the tactical bomb. Ah, uh, I forgot to ask him if they'd submerge. I just assumed they all would. Um, so just tell me 
uh, if it's otherwise veteran, sorry about that. So I'm going to start with the blue dice, which will be the destroyer, and the yellow beige dice for the tactical bomber. So roll. So both of them missed. So I presume his submarine's going to submerge. Um, tell me if it's otherwise. And so now over here, I've got a fighter, which I'll just use this dice for the fighter, and this dice for the destroyer. So I got a hit, so now he does have to, now he gets his return fire dice, which will be at a three. So that's a miss. So again, please tell me if I'm doing everything anything wrong. I don't 100% understand submarines, but I'm just going with what I think is correct. And now I need three dice for my carpet bombing attack. So these are at two. So that's no hits. So that was not a success. So I know that's a pain, but oh well. You win some, you lose some. So now my now I'm going to move on to non-combat movements. This strategic bomber is going to fly back to London. Oh, drat! I forgot about a combat movement here. Ah, uh, dang it! Dang it! I have the arrow here. You can see I had a plan, but uh, so easy to forget these things. Uh, I guess it'll be a good sport. I'll oh, just move my infantry up to Warsaw. Ah, oh, drat, drat. Oh well. Um, okay. Other non combat movements. I'll just send this transport up to see from. 116 to 83. This infantry will move up to Sudan. And you know what? I'll make the transport pick up the infantry. And then they can move an extra space here and drop him in eastern Egypt. And the battleships can also move up. The bat this fleet here can also move up to 82. Um, I'm going to pick up the infantry from an inf a single infantry from Malaya and move the rest of my fleet back to 87 and drop this infantry in Calcutta. And Anzac is going to move the single destroyer up from 146 to 134. That's it for Anzac's non combat movements. Um, okay. <clears> hmm. <throat> this transport is going to go strategic naval movement up to join the first fleet off the coast of England and I believe I am done my non-combat movements so I'll move on to placement this French fighter will be lend leased to northern Algeria this British AAA will be built in London. <sighs> oh well. <sighs> da, 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 da. Um, an infantry will also be built in London, so I'll hand with four infantry there. 
this militia. I can't build it in Egypt, so I'm going to build this militia up in northern England. So I'm going to end with two militia there. And then this, this infantry will be built in the South African Union. So that's the UK. Anzac is just going to get there. Their major factory. And FEC, their two infantry and militia. So they're going to build the infantry in Haryana. One of the infantry. An infantry in Calcutta. And a militia in Calcutta. So they now have seven infantry in a militia got in Calcutta. And now I'm going to collect my income. I have 27 IPP as the United Kingdom. Let me just check. I'll check my bonuses actually. I have, I possess the Suez Canal in Eastern Egypt, so that's plus three. Iran is neutral, so that's plus two. And there isn't, there are two enemy submarines. So I just go up plus five and I'm on 27. So that is 32. Anzac. So Anzac is on 7 IPP. And where's their reference sheet? They get 2 IPP because there are no enemy surface wall stops within 2 C zones of Australia. So Anzac collects 9. And FEC is on 14. And Aden and Eastern Egypt are allied possessed. So FEC collect 16. Okay, so that's my. That's their turn. Now I'm going to move on to Free France. The Free France obviously has no tech rolls, and they have no purchases. So, nothing in that phase. The second phase is combat movement. They're going to move this fighter onto combat air patrol. I believe that's a combat movement. This fleet is going to move back to C zone 80. The foreign legion is going to be picked up by the transport. And the transport is going to move to C-Zone 50, and the Foreign Legion is going to be dropped in Corsica. So we're going to limit the Vichy Traitors recruitment role. And I'm going to move this heavy cruiser from C-Zone 33, 1, 2, Three down to C zone eighty. Um, I believe, and I'm also gonna for a, a single combat movement over here, move the infantry from Eritrea down to invade the Vichy traitors in French Somaliland. Next, actually we're gonna move an infantry from. Abyssinia. One infantry from Eritrea is going to be pick, move onto this British transport. That's a non combat movement, but I'm just going to do all of their movements at the same time. I don't believe I have any rolling for them, so the free French turn is complete. Now, free France does not get any bonus income. So they collect, I believe it is 6 IPP, and end their turn with 6 IPP. So um, I'm going to pass it on to the veteran with his Italian turn for July of 1939, and I'll catch you... I'll catch you later.